Hey everybody, this is Anthony Hannigan, and welcome back to Music Moose. Playing a little bit of The Man That Is Big, or Big Mon, as some of you that know it. And one of the questions came up on the forum, hey, what kind of scales can I fake my way through in a jam session? Depending on what the chord is, is going to be the answer for you. So let's just jam that one, which is just A and G. So basically what you can do, the song is, the melody line is right here. So if I just walked up to a jam, I've never heard that song before. Um, better yet, we're going to transpose it down to, um, let's do it in B. So it'll be B, A, B, F sharp. So I know, right here's my B chord. There's my B notes that I could use, or I can... So I think walking up the, um, the eight notes is a good start. Um, so you're, you go into a jam session and the song is in B. you can just play a scale. Now you don't want to get repetitive with the scales like I stated earlier on doing the fills. That's the one thing it's going to just sound like way too much overload, but you could take that as a basic, just your basic scale. Um, the turnarounds and licks also come in handy for this particular situation. And again, the question is what kind of scales can I play in a song I don't know? And the answer is any scales. It's timing and where it will fit into the space. So if I were to slow that down, let's go back to A and say I've never played this song before. A, G, A, E, A. And all I'm doing just running the A scale and the G scale ending on the E scale and the chords in the tune are A, G. So the answer would be do a scale that's in the song. Now if you want to expand that a little bit further go back and visit the uh, the theory lesson on how the, the um, they're all related. Now another question that came up how would I particularly play that? Um, years and years ago I would probably play it like But I see where my finger is right here. And what I start thinking is like, well, what is that right there? That is an A note, but what chords are relative to that particular A note? In this situation, the C chord is coming into my mind. So what I would do is I would use a C scale over top of the A, depending on the, um, the momentum of the jam and everything. But I would probably go... play the C over top of the A and it's a right there's your C there's your A there's your C again okay so C works for me I'm, I've got when I hear that tune I think of uh, Vassar Clemens again for some reason and I just know when he played it he would always go off into the C and um, I really really liked it another chord that would work over top of it too would be G. So if I were playing all I did there was walk right up into the G. So basically find out what your chord is, learn the notes inside that scale, practice your timing and what your note selection is going to be because it can definitely be a lot quicker too if it's Know what notes 
and what chords can overlay with your root chord, being the A in this case. I know that C would work, I know that G would work. I can even throw a minor in there too and have that work too. Any note or combination of notes is going to work with the root chord. The sound that it's going to present is going to be a little bit dissonant and what and maybe the word tolerable to some other people, but it is all great stuff. So play around, experiment. What necessarily works for me might not work for some folks out there in Mooseland, just as it applies in reverse. What works out there in Mooseland might nece necessarily work for me. Some of the most fascinating things I've seen are the most simplistic things that I've completely overlooked um, during my playing time. So soak it all in and play around. Space and timing are pretty much everything. So that concludes this portion on um, what kind of scales can I use for jams. And we're going to continue much later on with some more music here at the Moose. Thanks for tuning in, everyone.